Well, hey everybody, I wanted to put together a quick little video on something I missed on my last video, and I wanted to show this to you so that you don't miss it too. So enough talk, let's get to it. All right, so here are the bearings from the transmission. Still have to go clean those out and uh, get new bearings. But here is the slipper clutch that I wanted to talk with you about today. Uh, this is something that I completely overlooked and I know it would be very easy to overlook, so I wanted to point it out to you and hopefully you don't make the same mistake I did. Luckily, this didn't happen a little down the road. What I found was, since I've been running my truck in a lot of water, uh, this causes damage to not just bearings, but apparently the slipper pad as well. So I went to pull off this disc and I couldn't get it off for the life of me, so I took a screwdriver to it. I ended up getting the disc off, but when I did, if you look, you can notice and see that the, the slipper pad is actually worn off on this disc. Now what that means is now, if I put that back on the slipper pad, it's going to be really hard to spin when it's under pressure because there's a lot of, a lot of debris here and this is a really rough surface. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the slipper, slipper pad as well as uh, resurface this disc and I'll do the same thing for this side as well. I'll be able to get this off here with the screwdriver and just pry it off, put a new slipper pad on and be good to go. But be sure to check your slipper pad when you're taking this apart because apparently it can get water damage and not actually slip at all. The entire time I've been running this uh, for who knows how long the slipper pad hasn't been working. It's a non-functional non slipper. No slip slipper! Check your slipper pads. Make sure your slippers are slipping the way they should be slipping and not slopping with no stopping. Okay guys, so that's the reason why the slipper clutch wasn't slipping was because it couldn't slip anymore. It's saying slipping an awful lot, but that's the fact. So when you take your car apart, make sure you check to make sure your slipper clutch is functioning the way it ought to be. It's really easy to overlook it. I obviously did, and I want to prevent the same scenario from happening to you and get on the trail and have a little bit too much power, not have the function of the slipper clutch, and then end up breaking something. My goal is to help you to have a better experience on the trail, to have a better experience with the RC. So go out there, enjoy, go have fun, do your maintenance. It's getting to be winter time, but we're still gonna get outside and have a lot of fun this winter. I'm looking forward to it.